Hi and welcome back to our OpenTDD game where we just recently put our little bridge hat here on the Iron Lands. Uh, a few things. Um, I looked at the game, let it run for a little bit because there are sometimes issues that are a little bit hard to uncover while you're um, in the game. At least for me because I'm maybe not so good at it yet. And one of the issues that I found is that we have this idea that we're feeding things into a facilitation here and that we're gonna get picked up from here but um, I think one thing that I quickly realized when I let the game run and I can probably already show you this just in a short short amount of time is that the iron ore piles up in the station very quickly and there's not enough trains picking it up um, now that I let it run of course it's a demonstration effect where it's not happening while I'm done demonstrating it to you but um, if we leave it running for just a little bit longer, we will be observing that uh, behavior. So we can see that trains are coming in. We have a lot of stuff here. And the problem is the more it piles up here and I've uh, let it run for a little bit and it piles up over a million, it's essentially that we're pushing stuff here, but we're not getting paid for it. But we do have the expenses of it being delivered to here. And the longer it waits here, the less valuable the cargo is when it gets delivered to its final destination in the steel um, mill, which, don't ask me why, it doesn't make sense, because iron ore should not decay in value that significantly. It's not like the freshest iron ore is the best one, but that's kind of how it works. You need to deliver things far distances and you need to deliver it fast. Uh, so, um, in that sense, I have come to the conclusion that I would like to remove that feeding into first flow and simply push the iron ore to the top. To um, full, full marked, whatever it's called. Uh, that's the that's the goal for for this episode. Quickly, at least for the initial part, because I just don't want to do that uh, feeding anymore. So um, we'll just let that train get out of here, and uh, then we're gonna do a quick renovation here, and that will mean that a few trains get lost. So be it. we do need to do that quickly um, because I don't see it doing it doing it quickly and in the, in the without disrupting traffic so that's okay people will forgive and we're just gonna remove this one platform we're only gonna have two platforms here and uh, we're gonna run that one in here we're going to run this one that so the two central ones here will be the main ones like this like that and then up here going over here there there and then we're going to run two passing tracks out here where people can get out without without uh, going through the station just for the future just because it's fun and yeah then we're going to make sure that this is accurately put so this one will be like that and like that like this and like that and then some ones here and i will actually replace them with the one-way ones just to avoid the future mistake and i to put those ones correctly and here messed up a little bit with the distances i cannot put a signal here so we will just do that a little bit differently no problem yeah that's fine so, um what did i want to do i wanted to put a signal here you're going there and then one here like that i'm gonna put one there there just in case so now we have basically set it up correctly we're still in the um, base where we're pushing things a little bit slightly incorrectly and this seems like a bug I don't see it actually it seems like it's correct it just seems like there's a weirdness with regards to this track being uh, reserved even though it's not needed
Let's see if it works when I pull it out. It doesn't seem like it, so maybe there is some signaling issue, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think there was something weird with the path reservation code or something. Maybe I missed the signal and just didn't notice it. But yeah, the, the idea is firstly that we're gonna have to redirect a few trains, which is totally cool. Uh, so that's the good part of shared orders. So very easy, we can just say don't uh, go here, please go here, and then you will just deliver it. And that's it. So this one taken care of. Then the next one are the trains from Ilmtal. So the trains from Ilmtal, they're also doing a drop off right now. And uh, if we catch one, then we can take care of that. This is a train from Ilmtal. You train from Ilmtal? Yes. So, perfect. Then we will put you also up here to deliver directly, and that's the way things go. Now, that does mean we're gonna have to buy more trains to get uh, this demand, and maybe there's a few too many trains on the Fessel Kirchen Woods route. Maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah. That's uh, that's the, the goal for that taken care of. So I think that should help us quite a lot and uh, resolve future problems that I observed. Now coming back to this little uh, conflict that we're having here with, <laughs> with the mayor of uh, Mikasavici, I was thinking, let's show the citizens of Mikasavici what we're made of and what type of Rail company we are. The mayor is spreading like bad rumors, rumors about our company, uh, personal attacks on Mr. Gruber. Um, it, it's gotten really, really nasty uh, this fight. And uh, I was thinking the main connection that they're caring about is uh, Peter Rihoisk and uh, by extension the Sulisk and uh, potentially Makara Bova. They want to be connected. So particularly Peter Rihoisk and the people of Mikasavici. Let them be connected. They were connected by this uh, ancient road. Well, technically it goes to Sulitz, but let's focus on this connection because it benefits us as well. We have here those two we want to connect, and when we're connecting them, why not run a little passenger transport from Mikasavici to Piterihoisk to show the mayor, and more importantly, the people of Mikasavici, that we are um, a great company uh, and that we are very much interested in, in having good relations with the people and that we are going to yeah improve their lives through incredibly great public transportation that is reliable and cheap and a benefit for all so we're going to build a passenger line for them um or at least that's going to be what mr gruber is claiming on the on the on the on the forms when when he's filling in the permissions for the planning permits but let's not be too uh too forward with that. So we're gonna build a nice little viaduct here. Beautiful. And then uh, I cannot see anything from all of these trees but we're gonna go down here. I need to come down here because we are going to build a platform here and I do have it on my agenda to actually replace those platforms to be actually nice looking because there are some nice looking platforms. I just always like get like when I look at my list of what do I want to do um, then I always see different things than improving the platforms. Uh, like, for example, resolving the feud with the mayor of Peter Mikasavici and uh, showing him up. That definitely Mr. Gruber's priority uh, by storm when, when this came up. So, that looks already good. And then we're going to have here another bridge. So that's approximately right, and then we're going to build another station here, and we do have to build it like a little bit down here. Um, and I already foresee that we're going to th build through this forest, and already the people of Pitorihoisk are not so excited. Maybe the rumors are spreading, but let's uh, let's be optimistic here, and um, the urbans we're even going out all out and building gravel roads, which they're going to hate because we're going to knock down a few trees to build it. 
and we're also going to knock down a few trees because of the whole thing but you know planning permission was already granted don't don't worry about that we're not uh, requiring them to like us that much and that's that mm, potentially with so many trains and the passenger transport we're gonna have to double track that i'm already assuming that yes very much so question is where do we put the maintenance depot where is a good place for it i think wherever i place it i have the high suspicion that we're just going to delete it afterwards um all right let's just uh let's just go with it then here and priorities first uh, we're going to go with the passenger transport of course that's after all mr gruber's big plan uh, do we spring for like a really expensive one? Doesn't really matter, I think, because it's not going to be heavy. It can only go 72. That would mean the, the top one. I think Mr. Gruber is, is, is aware of our finances and our precarious situation. So let's uh, let's assume he's he, he he wants to he wants to show off in a cheap way. Yeah. So that's uh, the message that we're trying to send. Um, going to Mikasavichi Iron Ore and then to Peter Rehoisk, connecting those two people. Uh, yeah, I'm just now that I'm thinking about it actually, <laughs> we do require planning permission for a bus stop because this is too far away from the town to actually be connected to it. Oops, uh, that's not a problem. We can just build like some of their, rebuild some of their ancient forests and you see the people because Savage, they're getting so excited about this whole transportation situation that they are going to uh, make the mayor give us the planning permission. Uh, and we also have the govern government behind us. The governor specifically uh, is very interested in, in us uh, building up railways here, I think. So building a new Mikasavichi bus stop. And uh, we're connecting another bus stop to the Mikasavichi Iron Stone station. And then even springing for gravel roads here as well to connect down to the town. Yes, perfect. And of course, we do require also a this depot. And last but not least, we do want to find out what type of vehicle you want. So do we want to spring here for something cheap or do we just go with a horse carriage? I think we're gonna go with the We're gonna go with the steam engine just because, right? Stage coach, no. It needs to be the steam engine. Like that that part, like the last mile, that needs to be the impressive part. The people of Mikasavichi, they, they need their jaws need to drop when they see the the smoke uh, on their windows um, from this little steam engine here. So there's no way around saving it here. Like we need to spend the money here to impress. And impress we do. I already see it. Are passengers waiting here? Is there passengers waiting here? No. Because Savage Iron Ore, it seems like it doesn't accept any passengers yet. Oh, there's one passenger. Passenger from Peteria Hoisk Iron Ore. He wants to go there. He like one guy, he was like, let's get out of Mikasavichi. They already hate us again. But there was one guy. And I think there's another guy here on the coach. They want to get out. They 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 are on our side. They're like, oh, let's let's try this like train thing, like this this uh this newfangled invention. They are they are they are they are coming with us on this one. Alright, and in Mikasavichi, how does it look here? There's two people who want to go to, uh, sorry, Peter Rehoyce, two people want to go to Mikasavichi. And it works. It works. It's not going to be profitable, I think. Um, but it works. I think we are we're winning the hearts of the people with this one. It, it's, it's a little bit costly, yes. It's even some people who don't even want to transfer. I think they just want to go to the train station just to look at the trains that are not yet here. But yeah, we're winning the hearts of the people, I'm pretty sure. That's gonna be uh, the way. I think Mr. Gruber. Um, well, it's time for his retirement soon. I think this is kind of the last big thing that he's gonna take care of to make sure that the Iron Peninsula is uh, properly um, connected. So, Iron Ore. Uh, we need two of them because 
well, actually, now that we're not doing a feeding system, maybe this train station is way oversized. Maybe we do a feeding system just on the Ironlands. Maybe we do. Because especially this, this, this lower track here, we don't want to double track it, I think. So we're doing a feeding system here. Yeah. At least for now. Yeah, let's do it. I'm a little bit pessimistic on this. I'm um, gonna have a thought on this uh, probably next episode. I like my idea still, but for now, we're gonna go with it. So there we go with that, and that one will go to the Rehoisk station. Then to Mikasawichi. Load. Transfer. Yeah, I realize it's very crowded on this track. Especially since it's constantly taken up by this uh, prestige project of uh, <laughs> Mr. Gruber. And we also forgot a few signals, which definitely doesn't help. They are missing because then trains cannot get out and wait in the stations. In fact, that probably means that there's trains stuck somewhere. There's uh... No, I think there's just way too little trains for Mika Savage. Okay. There's a train here. Vessel Kirchen. Yeah. That one... It's a bit tricky. Where does it want to go? Does it want to go to Vessel Kirchen? Yes. It's just like Fessilkirchen is way too overloaded now with trains from the production. So that's the problem. Okay, that is fine. So go to the next available. Please go to the next available one. Okay, then you skip. There's signaling issue. Hmm. If not, this is fine in theory. There are signals correctly placed. I think this is correctly signaled. But uh, yeah, please go to next place and you also those are old trains um, so I'm not feeling too bad about this but we're gonna sell them yeah, yeah now that they have this uh, they don't want to rotate themselves That is one problem. They want to rotate through this. They don't want to just turn around in the station. It's an interesting problem. I'm not sure if it makes sense to just disconnect this because we don't want to go from to the station from the bottom. But that's okay for now, I guess. I guess one solution for this problem quickly is to just have this waiting area a little bit more extended and have a passing here. So because this train probably maybe even doesn't want to go to Fesselkirchen, it wants to go to Ilmtal. It's just being blocked off necessarily. Uh, yeah, we're definitely in a big load of trouble. That will cost us dearly if we don't do anything. So happy with this. I think there needs to be like some sort of better waiting area here. For now it's kind of okay, but not not long. Definitely there was too many trains. I think now that we sold off a few already it's better. 
Did we have like another train waiting? I don't know, I think not. I think we didn't send any other trains back. No, there's two waiting. I think it's definitely still maybe too many. Yeah, definitely. So it might just be that they don't space out enough. So maybe we'll just say skip uh, skip loading and you go one round around and then we see if it turns out to be 20. Or if they were all just stuck in like the traffic jam and now they're all arriving at the same time, which gives me the impression that there's too many, but in the end there isn't going to be them too many. So let's see about that. Alright, uh, so... And let's take a look here at the Peter Hoisk situation and this situation. Constantly they cannot run the trains because they are constantly either being slow or what the hell. So this is the problem with the feeder station that I had. So from Peter Hoisk there's so much iron ore here and it's just not getting transferred uh, to the top because there's just not enough uh, trains that are actually doing it. And then Peter Hoisk also at piling up probably. It's just a nightmare. I'm not sure how to build these feeding stations better. Maybe it's uh, just an issue how I construct uh, everything here. But yeah, my, my initial thought for now is just to put more trains on it. I think anyway Mikasavichi needs more trains, so it's uh, definitely not going to be wasted. Problem. Waste effort. So let's find the trains for Mikasawaji. Those should be the last trains that we built, probably. Mikasawaji to Wilmart. Yeah, that's the one. And Bridge is gonna clone this two times because that's how many times I can afford it. how much money we get from the Mikasawichi train. So we're we going up. Uh, there's also a lot of bottlenecks here um, in regards to the drop-off. But we got 20k from that, so can't complain too much, I guess. So we're gonna put one more and I think we're gonna need to double track. And I think one thing is we're definitely gonna need to just did they build this again, or did they? I forgot to like delete it because I saw this earlier. It's definitely not cool, guys. But I do like the the alley here. Like that, that's a nice touch. Things building that, that's really cool. Um, and yeah, Wilmart is also like really growing into it. Uh, I think uh, regarding our uh, whole city, I don't like this level crossing. Uh, probably we might want to remove that and build bridges. But yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, so I think I like the game as it's set up. I'm seeing a few issues on the horizon regarding scalability, definitely. But I, I like the general trend of, it, of things. Um, here we're now waiting to load. So this has kind of gotten okay. Here we're waiting to pick up. Here there's way too much waiting. This gets worse as it's waiting. So we're still not picking it up fast enough, probably also because of the bridge thing. But let's leave it here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.